Hello guys, welcome back to this channel and today I'm going to show you something very interesting. In our daily life, especially in this modern era, we used to do a lot of QR codes, right? For example, when we want to buy something using touch and go apps, grab pay and so on. So we used to listen to people saying, um, am I going to scan you or you scan me? So today I'm going to show you on how to customize your own QR code using Python in order to help others to reach to you within seconds. So without further ado, let's go to start now. Hi guys, thank you so much for still being with me and if you're a first timer or newbie to this video, perhaps you might need help on how to install Anaconda into Python, right? So you may refer to my first video being posted earlier on on how to install Anaconda at the top right side over here. So if you still haven't subscribed to my channel or maybe you forget to subscribe to my channel, feel free to do so now. And once everything is ready, let's go to step now. Alright guys, so I'm going to show you my screen right now. And the very first step that you might wish to do is to change the name of the file. Um, I just put in QR code over here. If you wish to change your other name, you could click on it and change to the names that you wish to and click on the rename button over here. Then once this is done, you could proceed to the first step. So once you come to over here, instead of, um, if you are new new user to this function, perhaps you have to install PLO and QR code first. If you're skipping this step and go to the um, next step to import the library called QR code, it will lead you to, a, to an error message. So um, let's go to try to install this too. I will go to Anaconda prompt over here at the search button here. Anaconda and then prompt, which is over here. Then I will have to see that, okay, this is the C drive with my Kevin Lim and I can start to put in the PIP space install space, sorry, space ELO. Then press enter. It will just take a few seconds to run it. And once this is done, as you see your name here, you could proceed to the next one to, to run the PIP space install space um, QR code. Then press enter again. All right, another few seconds to go. And yeah, so once you see your name again, that is fine. And come back to the Jupyter notebook over here. We can um, now run the second line, which is to import the library called QR code. Click on run. Okay, then it's fine. So now comes to the third one, which is to determine, I mean, to name what is the link that you want people to uh, come across. For example, when people scan your QR code later on, what is the destination link that you, you wish them to uh, reach? For example, right now, I just put in my YouTube channel. So once you're going to scan my QR code later on, it will link you to my YouTube channel. So this is the link that you might want people to reach to you. So you can copy and paste over here the link. And the next one, let's try to create a QR code right now. So I just put a name here, QR, and then the function is QR code um, dot QR code, and then version, I just simply put a two, um, box size is 10, border is five. Okay, I'm going to explain further on this later on. So let's go to see the next slide, the QR dot add data. So this is where the function of add data is to add in um, my destination later. Um, just, um, just now I've mentioned here, right, the YouTube channel is my destination. So I just put in the link, the, the name of link over here. So this is where people are going to reach after scanning your QR code. And the function of make here is where we're going to uh, make the QR code. And I put putting it fit equals to true is to ensure that the entire dimension of the QR code is utilized. For example, the destination of the YouTube channel perhaps is not going to utilize so many, so much spaces of the QR code, right? But we want to make sure that the QR code is going to utilize fully. So we just put in the fit equals to true to ensure that the entire dimension of QR code is being utilized. Then after, after that, um, I'm going to name the image. So this is the image that's going to be formed. I will put in the function make image and I just put in the color black and color of white. So this is where um, the foreground and uh, foreground the background. For example, we're going to see the QR code normally there is a black color of the lines and the white color background, right? So this is where we're going to determine here. So the black color is white color and the, the lines of the QR code will be black color. So we're going to change it to other colors later on. I will show you later on. So the image.save is where we're going to save the image as. And uh, I'm sorry, um, it's what the name of the image that we're going to save. For example, I'm putting in Kevin YouTube. So the name of the file will be Kevin YouTube and I save it as PNG format. So let's try to run it. All right, you could see from here, this is my file here and Kevin YouTube as 
created by 6.49 p.m. just now, okay, just uh, recently. So I click on it and you could see my QR code being generated over here. So let's go to some few points that I um, haven't um, go through with you just now. So let's see the, the function of version, the parameter of version over here. So this is where we're going to determine the size of the QR code from the integer of 1 to 40. Let's say if I want to change it to 40 and let's see the outcome. So this is, um, this is where it's going to be. So it will be a very large image instead of just a small one like just now. So I will just change it back to the normal. For example, I want to put in one, right? I will get a normal file that's um, the normal size of the QR code being generated. So this is what I want. And yeah, the box size of 10. So this is to determine, the, uh, the parameter of box size is to determine the size of each box in the pixels. And for the border, it's like to determine the thickness of border. For example, I'm putting in five, right? So the border is equal to the thickness of five tiny black boxes in this example. So this is a five. All right. And one more thing that I want to show you is the color, right? So instead of putting in black, perhaps I want to put in like green color. I can just put in green and I will try to run it. So this is how it's going to be like. I have the QR code, the lines in green color. And if you want to change it to um, perhaps a black, uh, the background color will be, um, let's say, pink. All right. So I'll try to run it. And you're able to have a pink background and the QR code in green color. If you wish to check whether your output is working or not, you may take out your mobile device and you could scan on this QR code over here. And yeah, if you link, for, for, for my QR code here, you can link me to my YouTube channel. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. All right, and one more thing to remind you, if you wish to have your QR code being generated straight away in the Jupyter Notebook, you may refer to one more steps over here. Let's go back to the Jupyter Notebook. As you could see here, if you wish to show it in Jupyter Notebook, you may try to import matplotlib, the plot as PLT, try to run this line. And lastly, to run this function as well, which is the plt.imshow and then the image with the steamap equals to gray. Let's try to run this. As you can see over here, the green color lines and pink color background, which is exactly the same as the image that we generated just now. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video up to this point here. So before I end my video today, I just want to add one more point here. If you wish to apply for a job in near future, perhaps you could consider to put in your QR code at the resume or CV so the employer could reach to you within seconds. So all in all, I wish you all the best and hope to see more interesting videos in the near future. See you. Bye-bye.